Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Riley. February is Black History Month, and in honor of that special month, we are going to create a drawing of an airplane inspired by the Tuskegee Airmen. That was the first group of African Americans to fly warplanes for the US military. They served during World War II and they did many brave and heroic things. Before we start, let's watch this quick video about Black History Month. Justice and Una in Black History Month. Hey, Una, did you know Black History Month is coming up? You're right. I remember learning about the holiday in class. When is it again? Black History Month is a celebration that happens every February. It's a time to celebrate the achievements made by African American. It's also a time to remember their important role in history. Yeah, the event is celebrated in countries such as the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom. There are many inspiring African-American heroes that have made a positive impact. Who's your favorite? There are so many. First, there's Harriet Tubman. She helped lead many African-Americans to freedom with the Underground Railroad. Then there's W.C. Handy. He's known as the father of the blues. He wrote a lot of music that we still love and listen to today. He is Jackie Robinson the first African-American baseball player to play in Major League Baseball. She is Frances Harper, a poet, novelist, and activist who believe women should have the right to vote. A true hero. Aretha Franklin is the queen of soul. She was the first woman to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Do you know him? Yes, Martin Luther King Jr. He was an honest and brave minister and a civil rights activist. He believed in nonviolence and equality for all. People in the U.S. celebrate him every January. My hero. They are all great, Una. And there's so many more African Americans who have made and are still making history every day. We should go meet them and learn from them. Let's continue to be inspired. Here we have a book called Wind Flyers, and it's about the Tuskegee Airmen, the group I mentioned earlier, who were heroes during World War II. The book is by Angela Johnson and illustrated by Lauren Long. Let's read the book together. Great Great Uncle was a wind flyer, a smooth wind flyer, a Tuskegee wind flyer. His whole life, all he ever wanted to do was fly. With his arms flapping, he jumped off a chicken coop when he was five. Then, he jumped off a barn into soft hay when he was seven. Uncle says it was because he'd watched some birds fly that day. When he was 11, he paid 75 cents to go up with a flying barnstormer. This is the type of plane we'll be drawing. It's what heaven must be, Uncle says to me, with clouds like soft blankets, saying, Come on in, get warm, stay a while, and be a wind flyer too. They flew over fields, over the lakes, and Uncle just knew if he could get a good grip, those clouds would be his. He cried when they landed because he knew what it was like to go into the wind, against the wind, beyond the wind. There was magic in the wind back then, he says. When he was older, Uncle became a Tuskegee Airman with the 332nd. He studied hard and flew in a war. Air Force didn't want us at first, only four squadrons like us, he says, touching his mahogany face. And when his plane left the red Alabama dirt and flew into the air, he hoped he would never come back down. He had finally become a wind flyer, a smooth wind flyer, a Tuskegee wind flyer, flying high above it all, never to touch the earth again, forever a wind flyer. When I ask him if it was a big war, uncle says, they all are, but that's over now. We were something, some of us didn't come back, but
but we never lost a plane we protected. Then Uncle points at the picture of him and the wind flyers, those smooth wind flyers, those Tuskegee wind flyers. Young and brave, brave and young all. Uncle crop dusted some right after the war. That's the only way he could still fly. The only way he could still catch the clouds and feel the wind. He said, flying is different now though. Faster planes, more people than ever. But Uncle says the clouds still sound the same. He holds my hand and we watch the new wind flyers jet through the clouds. Then, once in a while, he takes me up and we become smooth wind flyers, Tuskegee wind flyers, flying into the wind, against the wind, beyond the wind, the magical wind. Okay, so now we're going to draw a plane similar to the one that we saw in the book. That type of plane is called a biplane. It's called a biplane because it has two different wings and it can twist and turn better than planes with just one wing. Fighter pilots rolled and spiraled high in the skies with this type of plane called a biplane. So we're using pencil first. I'm going to draw lightly in case I need to erase. And I'm going to start by making the propeller of the plane. So we're going to start over, put your finger in the middle of the paper and go over to the side, to the right side a little bit. And we're going to make a, a nice sized circle, about the size of a dime. And now we're going to make what's kind of like two flat, um, flower petals, like a daisy petal. So we're going to make a line that goes up, curves, and comes back down. That's one. Now a line that goes down, curves, comes back up. That's our second. So now we have our propeller. And we're going to draw a circle that goes behind that. So I'm making a C shape that connects the two propellers in a backward C shape. Now we're going to draw the main body of the plane. So I'm going to go from my propeller, my top propeller, I'm going to go over all the way almost to the edge of my paper and then stop and come back down, over and stop. Now we're going to make the place where the pilot will sit. I think that would be called the cabin. And this, this type of plane could only hold a maximum of two people. All right, now we're going to make the big top wing. So that's going to go right above our shape that we just made. So let's start over on the far edge of the paper. We're going to make kind of a curved C shape. We're going to go and make a long line over, almost to the edge, not quite. Another long line over, and we will connect those two with a backwards C shape. Now I'll make this wing over here. It's going to go behind this propeller, so we're going to have to pick up our pencil. We'll start with a little diagonal line. Pick up your pencil, continue on the other side about to the same spot as this top wing ended and come back in. For this wing, we need to draw it within the main part of the plane. So we're going to make a little line here, a horizontal line. And we're going to make a line that comes straight out. I'm gonna try and copy this same kind of line here. So pretend that it's going straight through the plane about to the same spot as the top wing and come back in. Now, it's a good thing I'm using pencil because I'm going to erase here where the two lines cross over each other, where the two shapes cross over each other. And so the top wing is going to be connected to the bottom wings using two straight lines. One, two. One, Our next step, we're going to make the back tail of the plane. So to make that, we're going to do a straight line up, pick up your pencil, make a 
rainbow shape and continue it down below. And the other one's going to come out to the side, so straight line out, straight line out, and connect with the letter C. Looking good so far. Now we're going to make the wheels for the plane so it can land. So we're going to make a U-shape, long skinny U-shape coming out of the bottom of the plane in the front with a circle and another circle inside. Same thing on the other side, U-shape, circle, but we're looking at the back of the wheel so we don't have to do another circle inside. And now you can make your pilot of your plane. You can make him look like you or her look like you, or you can make it look like one of the characters in the book. I need to erase again where my shapes are overlapping. I'm going to have my person wearing a little hat. And some goggles. Very windy up there. Nice big smile. A little jacket. Probably should have a wheel here that they can steer with. And my person's one deep girl. If you want to add any details to your plane, you can feel free to do that. But now I'm going to outline in black. So you can use anything black that you have to outline with and trace over all your pencil lines. Okay, so now I've finished outlining and now it's time to very neatly add color. Using whatever you have to add color with, I'll put some examples up right now that you can pause the video on and choose any colors that you'd like to add color to your biplane. The teacher will collect these when we're done because these are going to be used for another part of a project. If you're at home, please put it in a safe spot so we do the next step.